What's up guys? It's Mark Kevin Baltimore, founder of Great Material Project. Welcome to our first series of Great Material Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will teach you how to get started with the Maven Archetype in Great Material. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to open up command prompt. And uh, what we need to do here is, is to execute a Maven command using Archetype Generate. The parameters are the group ID, which is the com GitHub with material design, and an artifact ID with material archetype. And also the version we are using is 1.5.0. So uh, after pressing it, so it will uh, generate the archetype. So it will scan the project and building the Maven sub project. Then uh, what we need to do here is something we need to enter uh, later about our own uh, parameters in our architect okay so now let's uh, pretend that we are using a group ID for example we can just uh, make it a com uh, with material that tutorial it's a unique one it depends on your company also then next part is the artifact ID which we can call it grid material tutorial then uh, we need to have a value for property for our package so what will I call something the artifact ID so it should be like that or you can use uh, the group ID it depends into your uh, what you call this into your project so let's press enter and then let's just press Y then okay so now our archetype project is uh, ready for for running the grid application. Then uh, what we need to do here is just to to what to go is to browse the project. So if we can call dir, so there you can see that the grid material tutorial is uh, is ready. Okay, so uh, here we can import the project with created in the archetype using um, IntelliJ IDEA or even Eclipse. So I will show you first on how to import a project on IntelliJ IDEA before opening it in Eclipse. So first, let's uh, open the project. So I think it's on documents and it's inside the tutorial uh, folder. And what we need to do here is to import the POM uh, that XML. Then uh, let's wait until it will index, it will, uh, what do you call this, download the dependencies into the Maven Central, especially the, the grid uh, material projects. So let's wait until it finish. Okay. So, okay. So it's finished. So here, as you can see, it's a default VTP project by ArcBeast. So they are the contributor of VTP. And then here we can see the client application and the application view, which is our, what is our first page to be loaded. So here we can see that there is a material panel. So we are using material uh, widget here using this uh, XML uh, import so we can import with material design client qi so here we have uh, example hello world example so what we need to do here is to create configuration using the grid uh, configuration so let's see where it is so here okay so let's call it grid super dev mode because we are using super dev mode and then let's select our module with material tutorial and then after that click apply then click ok so after we create that so what we need to do here is go here and then click the play button the green one so we all know that uh, this one will execute some uh, so it's a compilation okay Okay, 
So now, <clears throat> using super dev mode, it will automatically uh, load the module, the Git application we've made. So here it's compiling. Then uh, we just need to wait. Okay, so now it's loaded. So we can see that uh, IntelliJ IDE plus Maven archetype is working. So now we can uh, have to, what to call this, to do some sort of revisions inside our code. So for example, I will give you some example into it. So if we can change this, so welcome to my tutorial. So welcome to my tutorial. So then uh, if we hit the refresh, then it will compile to uh, apply some major minor changes. So now it's okay. So we have uh, successfully run the project using IntelliJ IDEA. So our next uh, series uh, of this lesson will be the usage of Eclipse. Okay, for, for the next uh, lesson, we need to import our project also into Eclipse. So now we, I'm using a Java E uh, Mars edition. So what we need to do first is to go to file, go to import, and make sure that you have Maven installed. So Maven, uh, we, have, we need to import it using existing Maven project. And then what we need to do here is to browse the project we've created using Maven archetype. And then here go to documents go to tutorial and then with material tutorial so sorry so this one and then click ok then make sure also you have POM inside of it so that uh, it will uh, generate the maven successfully and then we just need to to what the good is to wait uh, for the maven to be download the uh, what the good is the uh, good material dependencies so after that so we finish it. After that, we need to create a uh, run configuration using Maven. So here we have uh, Maven build. And then what we need to do here is to call it grid run. And then just the directory with material tutorial. And then the specific uh, go. So grid run and click apply. So before, before running it, we need to to install it uh, because uh, you will get uh, a 404 error because it, it doesn't uh, what it is installed into your Maven uh, repository, your local. So you need to do a right click and then run as and then Maven install. Okay, so let's wait until it installs. So I think it's finished. So what's next is to run the project. So go to your, what you call this, to your run configuration, and then go to your build with run, then double click it. Then it will open up a grid development mode. So let's wait until it compiles. Okay, so it uses a grid maven plugin to that seven. So maybe later we can just update the dependency to 2.8 snapshot. Uh, I think it's on grid 2.0. Grid material 2.0, sorry. So let's click on the launch default uh, configuration. Okay, so this one. So now it's compiling. So let's see if uh, we have uh, the same uh, effect as on IntelliJ IDEA. So let's wait. Okay, so it's loaded. So there you go. So you have it here. Hello world. Hello MD world. So uh, let's just how about let's just uh, change something else inside our uh, what do this our with material project. So go to main. I think it's on uh, here. I think resources come with material tutorial client. Then we need to go to application and go to application view. So what we need to do here, 
I think, for example, we go to source. Okay, so we have here a sample template, just like on IntelliJ IDEA, the one we ran a, um, a while ago. So we need to change it here, the material label, to welcome to my tutorial. Then after that, so what we need to do is um, to save it. So, and then after we refresh it, then uh, we will uh, have an update about our UI, the change of the material level. So now it's working. Thank you very much for watching the project setup tutorial using Maven Archetype in Grid Material. I hope for the next series of uh, uh, tutorial, so we will discuss more about the UX and UI part about the Grid Material. So thank you so much and uh, just subscribe on my YouTube channel. So have a good day.